Well, hello there, motherfuckers. Well, it appears to me that everybody's sharing your two cents about a certain occurrence that's happened recently here um, on the internet, the IWC and the YWC, and, well, in TNA. That's where it's actually happening. Eric Young and Bobby Roode, former TNA World Heavyweight Championships, probably the most worthless championship on the face of the fucking planet, they have left DNA. They're gone. Bye. See ya. Sayonara. Adios. And the thing is, I, I really don't care. I, I really don't fucking care. I've never been a fan of either of these guys. And as you, as you all know, at this point in my life, I fucking despise TNA. There were some moments when I had hope for TNA. But you guys know the problems that I've had with TNA. I've stayed them all here, despite what TNA fanboys have said. But the thing is, them, I don't hear TNA fanboys. I don't see TNA fanboys. I don't even see anybody defending this shit because, well, we won, guys. We won. The people who preferred WWE here in the YWC, we battled. You know, there's been hangouts. I remember getting into hangouts and arguing points about TNA and why it was shitty. People cursed. People got their accounts deleted. People got blocked. It was insanity. Fucking insanity. You know, but finally, finally TNA is starting to die. And well, there's rumors. I'm not even sure if it's confirmed that TNA is up for sale, that they're, they're willing to be bought out. They're, they're still on Pop TV. I don't know what the fuck Pop TV is. I still don't know what Pop TV is. They were on Destination America, which doesn't even sound like a fucking channel. And Pop TV reminds me of fucking pop-up video. Eric Young and Bobby Roode, do I think that these guys are going to end up in WWE? I don't really think so. To be quite honest, none of these guys got any charisma. Eric Young is funny. You know, he is. He's entertaining. But, you know, I, I just don't see it. I shouldn't say that the guy... Well, Bobby Roode doesn't really have any charisma. Eric Young has the capability of being funny. But in today's WWE product with so many fucking goofballs already like New Day, there ain't any room for an Eric Young and I always said this, Eric Young was like the least talented member of Team Canada. It was always Petey Williams that really stood out. Everybody else, you know, was better than Eric Young. But for some reason, I think everybody left WW, left TNA and all they had left was Eric Young from Team Canada. I remember how awkward it was when he won the championship. They hadn't even been building him up to be a champion. It was like Chris Saban when he won the title. You know, they just threw him out there. Basically, what it was is they saw WWE was, uh, you know, pushing Daniel Bryan to the top. Um, they they didn't have uh, Daniel Bryan scheduled to win the WrestleMania main event in 2014. They changed plans and they had him win the title. So they were like, hey, Eric Young's also got a beard. And, you know, guys... I for the, my subscribers who were subscribed to me in 2014, when that happened, you could go back and watch the vids if you want to laugh or some nostalgia if you already seen the vids. Go back and watch those vids. I said right there, the only reason why they were pushing Eric Young is because he had a beard and he had similarities to Daniel Bryan. And, you know, they were having him do a lot of the same things like the suicide dive and the... Uh, the, the missile drop kick moves that he didn't even normally do. And they were just having him copy the shit out of Brian. You know, it, it looked pathetic because before that he was hanging around with ODB. They were getting married in the steel cage and shit. It, it looked fucking cheap. The fact that they were having Eric Young and ODB doing comedy sketches. And then two months later, Eric Young was winning the world title. That looked like fucking shit. That looked like fucking horror shit to me. And that's shit that you can't fucking buy. I wasn't buying it for two fucking seconds. It doesn't really matter that these guys are fucking even in the company. 
uh, that they're not in the company, or if they were, the fucking company is dead. You know, they they were never, ever, despite what anybody says, acknowledged as any type of viable competition by the WWE. They never even had a fucking chance. Not a, not a fucking prayer to even get close to even being somewhat close to being a, um, a viable competition for WWE. It was always a shitty fucking company. I supported them in the very beginning by ordering their weekly pay-per-views. But I always looked at TNA as just being a fucking cheap-ass indie fed. And despite what people wanted to believe, that's exactly what it was. Nobody could fucking deny it. It was not on the same level as WWE. They tried really hard, but they can never have the production values and, you know... Even though WWE is at their worst lately, even on their worst fucking day, they were always better than W. They were always better than TNA. You know, only on on some choice nights did Impact manage to entertain a little bit more than WWE. But when, but if WWE would actually, you know, get their shit together, they would blow TNA out of the fucking water, and they knew that. They fucking knew that. So it doesn't really matter. Eric Young, Bobby Roode, there, they're not there. It doesn't matter. Shitty ass fucking wrestlers. Shitty ass fucking company. I don't even want them in the WWE for fuck's sake. AJ Styles, different story. That guy's a mega star. Almost everybody knows who he is. Um, you know, he looks more like a star than those guys. Bobby Roode just looks like a plain fucking schmuck and Eric Young, the same thing goes for him too. All right, motherfuckers, fuck TNA, and no one's even going to hate on me for this video. That's what's so boring about it. That's why I don't do any more TNA rants. Half the fun of doing a TNA rant was having the people complain about me. You're a WWE mark. Now there's nobody even around to defend TNA. No one even gives a shit anymore. They've all moved on to different promotions or doing other things. You know, they're jerking off a little bit longer. They're going for 10 mile hikes so they could, you know, have sex with their boyfriend out in the woods. That's what TNA or former TNA fans are doing now, motherfuckers. Ha! Ah. Well, TNA is almost dead. I'm just waiting for it to officially die so I can dance on its grave. Ha <laughs> ha.